Should you buy Pokemon cards from Amazon? Let's find out. So here we are on Amazon. I'm not gonna look for anything that's like overly modern or anything that's overly vintage. I'm literally just gonna search for Pokemon cards. And I don't know, maybe like sun and moon and just kind of see what comes up. Let's just see what Amazon has to offer. Are the prices decent? Does anything look fake? Does everything look real? And then we're gonna buy a couple of items and when they come in, we'll open them up. We'll see what we think about the price. We'll see what we think about them being real or not. And just, I don't know, maybe Amazon is like a decent place to grab Pokemon cards nowadays. But I think the real test is, can you get Pokemon cards that are like not currently in circulation? So that's kind of the goal. So I'm just looking for maybe like a standout tin. Um, ooh, this actually kind of, this looks nice. That's not bad. What's in this actually? I love these tins, these tag team tins, because I think they come with some XY stuff too. And I don't know if we're guaranteed a Celebi. It's called the Celebi and Venusaur GX tin. There's a Pikachu and Zekrom, and I forget what the third one was. Sometimes these had tag or team up cards, but the other ones had like evolutions and like Sun and Moon base set and stuff like that. I'm assuming because this is $47 that we're probably going to be getting the cheaper one. But for 47 bucks, you get you're going to get four packs right here. It says four packs, uh, uh, four booster packs. They're going to be Sun and Moon or older since this is a tag team 10. Then we're also going to get this promo. Oh, that it does show four team up. So they're advertising the four team up packs. It doesn't say explicitly in here that it's going to be team up, but let's let's grab one of these and see what we can get. I'm going to look for maybe like a pin collection or something like that. Something that's maybe you don't see all the time. Uh, and actually right off the bat, this, does this even reel the champion's path tin? I don't know if that's real or not. Um, I don't think I've ever opened up either one of these tins. That's actually, the, the prices on these are pretty good. These aren't like outstanding prices, but if you have Amazon Prime, you're going to get free delivery. You're not on eBay paying taxes and fees. And I don't know, uh, I'm probably going to get one more thing. So let's, um, let's check out this Tapu Coco pin collection. Protect the islands. Okay, so we're gonna get some sort of promo. It looks like a Tapu Coco promo. And I think it's three packs. It might be all Guardians Rising. And if that's the case, I mean, it's still under $10 a pack. It says three random booster packs from various expansions. It's really, really vague, but I do remember seeing these like on the shelves. It's a real product. I just never opened it. So I'm actually gonna grab one of these two. For 30 bucks, that's kind of hard to pass up. And uh, so we have one tag team tin. We have a pin collection. Let's see if we can't just find maybe something a little bit older from like the XY era. Whoa, what is this? A Mega Absol EX collection? That's that's kind of cool. I don't remember this ever existing. Shows Roaring Skies. Is that a Phantom Forces? A couple of Phantom Forces. I don't know if that's legit or not. It does show a couple of Mega Absol promos as well. A couple of Roaring Skies, it looks like. Let's see if it mentions anything. It is $130. Let's see what it comes with. Never before seen Mega Absol EX Pokemon card. Oh, another Mega Absol EX. Okay. And then six TCG boosters to mega expand your collection. Man, they're, they're really trying with these big words. Mega, super, awesome EX box. So again, this was a little bit before I was in the hobby, so I don't remember these being on the shelves, but uh, it's about a 2016 product. I got in the hobby at 2018. So this seems pretty interesting to me. At $130 for six packs, it's a little over $20 a pack. So if there is Phantom Forces in here, it's worth it to me. I don't know. I'm kind of risking it here because it, it does show that I, I think those are Phantom Forces packs behind there in the purple. If there are two of them in there, they're about a 30 to $35 pack a piece. So I'm going to take the risk so that you guys don't have to. These things pop up on my Amazon feed all the time and I'm like, I have no idea if they're legit or not, but I'm going to grab these. They should be here in literally just a couple of days, and I will see you guys in a couple of days when they get here. One eternity later. What's going on, guys? So it's literally just a couple of days later. I got all of the Pokemon cards in. We spent just over $208 for all of these tins and boxes, and let's just kind of take a look at them. All right, so here is the Tapu Coco pin collection, and it is exactly what they said it was going to be. It comes with a Tapu Coco collection pin. That was the exact promo on the image that they showed us, and it does look like 
two Guardians Rising, and I don't know, is that a Steam Siege pack? I think that's a Steam Siege pack behind the Tapu Coco. Hold up, guys. You guys know that I am going to be doing a giveaway in this video like we do in the vast majority of our videos. We are actually going to be giving away every single hit that comes out of these boxes that we got. We got over $200 in products, so hopefully we can get something good for you guys to take home. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, all you guys got to do is leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you think of Amazon and Pokemon cards. Have you had good experiences or bad experiences? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the bell. Let's go. So for 30 bucks, this isn't that bad. It's not that good either, but everything looks legit. Let's open her up and get the packs out. Take a look at this promo, see if it's in decent condition. Even though the promo was just kind of loose in there, it actually is in pretty good condition. This is, oh my goodness, never mind. I take that back. Whoa, that is in rough shape. That is actually in really bad shape. I take everything back. Yeah, this was literally just sitting in here. And from the front, I'm like, all right, it's warped. It's not the end of the world. But when you look at the back, it's got whitening. It's got literal creases. This is an example of how not to store a promo card. So yeah, we get a Steam Siege pack and two Guardians Rising for $30. Here is the code card for you guys. This is a street value of about $25 to $30, almost spot on Amazon. So, so far so good. Let's open up these packs and see if we can't get anything good out of them. Starting off with the two Guardians Risings packs, there are a lot of good cards in the set, Guardians Rising. It is one of the better sets in the Sun and Moon era before tag teams were available. So once tag teams came out, everything kind of changed. Everything got way better. But this was one of the best sets before tag team, as we have the Alolan Golem and the non hollow Whizgash. One more pack here. This had a lot of really nice trainers. There's a really nice Articuno GX, I believe, as well. Uh, a lot of really nice cards. See what we can get out of one more pack. One hit would be nice, honestly, out of this entire tin. As we have the Geodude to go with the Golem. And ooh, nice, not bad. The Vicavolt GX. It's still so weird seeing GX cards. They seem like they're still new, but we're almost two generations past the GX era. All right, Steam Siege. Best cards in this set are the Gardevoirs and the Volcanions. Honestly, an Ultra Rare would be good. This set was not a fan favorite at all. Just three from the back for the XY era. But I think a lot of that had to do with the quality of the actual cards. Uh, Pokemon was having quality issues. Also, the hit rates weren't that great. Uh, a lot to complain about, not a lot to write home about at the same time. But at the end of the day, I mean, these are what, 2016? Yeah, 2016 packs. That's getting pretty old pretty quick. All right, next up is the Tag Team Tin. So we paid $47 for this tin on Amazon, which is actually a really good deal no matter what the packs are, because that's literally just over $10 a pack and they're guaranteed to be Sun and Moon or older. It comes with this absolutely stunning uh, full art tag team promo with the Celebi and the Venusaur. Everything looks real. I'm almost 100% sure that this is a legit product, but we'll have to open it up to see. And there's a chance that there are four team up packs in here. That's what they advertise. If that's the case, maybe you guys might want to go on Amazon and buy some of these as well. I might buy more if this is full of tag team. Otherwise, it should just be some Sun and Moon sets and then maybe an XY set like Evolutions. All right, let's get it open. Let's check out this promo. But more importantly, let's check out what packs we get. OK, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. So right off the bat, we are starting off with a Crimson Invasion pack, which is arguably the worst set in the Sun and Moon era entirely, including like the base set. In my opinion, it's, it's the worst set. But uh, let's see what other sets we have. We have a Burning Shadows. So horrible print quality, really tough pull rates, but you can get that like thousand or fifteen hundred dollar PSA 10 Rainbow Rare Charizard, which makes people kind of go crazy for this set. There's the Sun and Moon base set. So still, I mean, you're looking at, you know, right on par for price. But behind that is a Steam Siege. OK, this is worth every single penny of what you buy, but it's not really worth anything more, in my opinion. These are some of the worst sets uh, from 2016 and newer. But you do get the absolutely stunning, the absolutely stunning promo. Let's take a look at this a little bit closer. So the reason I like these tins is because they package them a million times better than the Tapu Coco, uh, the Tapu Coco pin box. So you just pull off this little protector and then you can just put your hand over it and they just 
flop out. And it has that code card in there to protect it. Let's leave this up. Now there are six different tag team tins and they are all stunning in their own right. I love this one a lot. It is absolutely gorgeous. What a card. And yeah, let's look at the back. I mean, this thing looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but I have seen perfect cards come out of these tins before. So yeah, really nice card. All right, so let's actually, let's open this up exactly in the order that it came in in the box. Let's start off with the Crimson Invasion. I think the Gyarados is the best card in the set. I could be wrong. It's been a really, really long time since I have opened up this set. Uh, we can get some fairy energies, which is a nice little bonus. I don't mind the artwork uh, specifically. It's just the pull rates in the set were abysmal. It was kind of early in the era. They were still trying to figure things out. Ooh, we got the Magikarp. <laughs> that would be nice to evolve that into a Gyarados. Outside of the Gyarados, honestly, it's like one of those kind of like you either hit the chase card or it's just average ultra rares. The Sun and Moon era is slowly aging, so I think this set and as well as all the other sets will eventually start. Ooh, nice. We got the fairy energy as we're opening up Burning Shadows now. We'll start to go up in value, but I think it's going to be slowly. I think it's going to be a slow process. I don't think these are going to explode overnight, and I don't think anything will ever really replicate that vintage Wizards of the Coast EX Heart Gold Soul Silver eras. But I do think that this will go up slowly over time as we get a hollow out of there, the Lucario. Now, Sun and Moon base set was actually really good. So out of the non tag team sets, I I think Sun and Moon base set is up there as one of my favorites, mostly because it just has the Espeon and the Umbreon in it. And it also has that gold card. Wow. Back to back fairy energies. Let's go. Has the gold card. The is it Ultra Ball or Great Ball? <laughs> I forget somehow uh, that's really, really, really difficult to pull. Um, so nice cards, good chase cards. We have the Crab Brawler and the Parasect. And it's still pretty cheap to get that set in general. Speaking of still cheap to get, this set is six years old now, working on seven years old. And I think this is still like a single digit pack. Like you can pick these up for like seven to $10 a pack. Uh, oh, I did. I did four from the back. There you go. There's the hollow Infernape. <laughs> That's what you get for being sidetracked. And the reverse was a Hydreigon. So literally no hits out of the tin other than the promo. All right, last but definitely not least is we have this Mega Absol box and it is absolutely, pun intended, destroyed. And look at the promos. Like you can only see one of them. There's a code card. It's upside down. This box got absolutely butchered in the shipping and handling process. But right on the front, I see an evolutions pack, which is good. We get six packs, but they need to average about $20 a pack for us to make our money back on this, or at least get some close to the value that we paid for. But I do see a Steam Siege pack. Uh, it looks like a Fates Collide pack, a Roaring Skies, an Evolving Skies, and a Steam Siege. Definitely not the Phantom Forces that was promised. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right, there are the promos just floating in there. <laughs> literally just floating in there. It is warped. It's at, oh, yeah, and it's a big crease right there on the bottom. Once again, a phenomenal lesson on what not to do with your promo cards, Pokemon. But I think they have learned from their lessons. I haven't seen too many products like this in recent products. Here is the Mega Absol EX. Oh, my. This looks a little iffy. I don't know if it's just been a long time. I thought all of the Megas had a little bit of texture to them. This one does not have any texture to it. Uh, I'm not saying that it's fake. It's just, I don't know, the XY era was a little bit iffy. I think this is real. Everything looks good about it. Everything feels good about it. But I would have expected a, a mega promo to have a texture to it. Either way, the packs look real. So we have two Fates Collide, two Evolutions, and two Steam Siege. So let's call it $20 for these, about $25 for these, so that's $45, and then about $40 for these. So you're getting about $75 to $100, but probably closer to $75 in packs, which isn't bad. It isn't horrible. I did pay $130 for this. So I would say that although Amazon is giving you an authentic product, sometimes they are using different versions of that product to sell it. So they did show the four team up packs for the tag team tin. We didn't get them. 
they did show what looked like Phantom Forces packs, and we definitely did not get Phantom Forces. We did not get Roaring Skies. We got Fates Collide, Steam Siege, and Evolution. So maybe I'm learning a little bit of a lesson for you guys. So you can get authentic cards, but there is a risk. You might not be getting exactly what you think you're buying. You know, I changed my mind for for just for ease of uh, ease of my my mind. I am going to rip this promo. So I, I'm pretty sure that it's real, but I am going to rip it. Okay, yeah. So don't, don't don't hate on me too much. I just wanted to make sure that this uh, this ink layer is here. That's how you tell that the card is real. I'd rather rip my promo than you guys get something in that was like a fake or something like that. Uh, it, it did look real. Everything looked real. It's just I was a little bit suspect of the fact that it wasn't a textured promo, but this was 2015. So seven years ago, things have changed a lot in seven years. It's legit. Or at least it was. All right, three from the back for Steam Siege. I just want one ultra rare out of this box. If I get a dud pack in all six packs, oh, that will be really, really rough. That'll be really, really rough. We get a reverse Meowth and the Cobalion. Lion. No guesses of the energy. No guaranteed energies even in these packs. As we have a Drifloon. Meryl. Got the Shellos, a Mantine, the Bastiodon that is a reverse rare. All right, so not a single ultra rare out of Steam Siege. That's one of the big reasons why it was not the most popular set. On to Fates Collide, the best uh, hits in this set. This is a much better set. It wasn't a huge fan favorite, but it did have the secret rare Mega Alakazam, and it also had a really nice Umbreon card. It had a really nice Glaceon card. Uh, there's some good hits in this set, some really, really nice cards in the set. We're not going to get one on this pack. So we're halfway through this box that costs us $130. Uh, we probably basically just donated this money uh, to Amazon. Uh, didn't quite get what we paid for, but at least the packs are authentic. There we go. There's the white code card that we're looking for. If we can get a secret rare out of this, I will be a happy, happy man. That is for sure. We got a seal, a Fennekin. Come on, Alakazam, give it to us. Got the white Kyrie in reverse. Oh, and the Audino, Audino <laughs> the Audino EX. Absolutely stunning. So stoked for the EX error to come back. That actually might be my next video after this, or I might have released it before this. I do plan on recording that literally right after this. So I'm going to open up. You guys can see them back there. They've been sitting there for a day or so, uh, but I'm excited to open up Scarlet and Violet for the first time and get back to the EX era. Absolutely stunning. On to evolutions. You guys know the chase card or chase cards for this set. Oof. It does revolve around the base set Charizard reprint. This is a 2016 set that came out kind of close to when Pokemon Go came out and it really revitalized the hobby in general. Uh, it was probably and still is probably the most printed set of all time. Uh, the most printed modern set, I would say, of all time, because base set through like Fossil, they were printed in so much abundance. There might be more of those to have ever been printed. It'd be really interesting if somebody did a study on that. The reverse, you can get really crazy reverses, and then what should be the non-hollow is the Beedrill. A couple of cards to look out for in this set. Obviously, you want the Charizards, but every once in a while, you will get a what's called a hollow bleed. And we had one of these on the channel not that long ago. And although the value is somewhat subjective of those cards, because they're most likely and almost always they will not grade well, they will not grade in a 10, but they are some of the most stunning cards that you could possibly get because this essentially there's hollow everywhere where it shouldn't be. If we can pull one of those, that would be crazy. Otherwise, one of those Charizards would make me very happy. We do get a break card. So this is a nine tails. Break cards. We have not seen these since the XY era. Uh, people did not love them back in the XY era, but I'm sure that they will start to and they will learn to like them now that they're becoming a little bit older and a bit more rare in our last card of the video no way oh it's such a troll <laughs> oh every time we pull this card i'm like did we actually do it and no the answer is no we did not he is my boy he's my favorite pokemon but it is a bit of a troll all right ladies and gentlemen there you have it that was our amazon pokemon card experiment i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned something maybe there are some good deals on Amazon, maybe they're not. At least the product does seem, for the most part, from what I grabbed, does seem to be authentic product, which is a change for the better. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys think of Amazon. Do you guys buy cards off of Amazon? Have you had good experiences, bad experiences? I'd really be curious to see down below. So leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, peace out.